Hi, welcome. And today we're looking at Psalm 22. But I want to start in the New Testament today in Matthew chapter 27, verse 45, where it says these words. Now from the sixth hour until the ninth hour, darkness came over all the land. About the ninth hour, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani, which means my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? These were actually the first verse of the psalm of today, Psalm 22. And we have something going on here where basically the psalmist is looking forward into the future what we call a messianic psalm. Now, almost certainly the psalm in some way applied to the situation of the psalm writer himself and the things that he was personally going through, but also there's application in so many different ways to the life of Jesus. It's quite a long psalm by the standards of some of the psalms that we have been reading, uh, such as tomorrow's psalm, Psalm 23 is only six verses long. This one is 31. It's quite complicated. There's lots of things that the psalmist refers to, but not only in Matthew's gospel, but also in John's gospel, both of the gospel writers refer back to to this psalm in reference to the death of Jesus. If we look at John's gospel, he refers to Psalm 22 verse 18 in the 24th verse of the 19th chapter. This happened, John says, that the scripture might be fulfilled, which said, they divided my garments amongst them and they cast lots for my clothing. And as you read through this psalm today, I want you to read it with the eyes that we have looking back on the life of Jesus. And you will see some clear references here. Now, some of the other things that the psalmist says are harder for us to connect up with the life of Jesus. But, you know, there's many clear references here, particularly to Jesus's death and as I say, the gospel writers pick up on those words. And isn't it amazing that hundreds of years before Jesus's crucifixion, the psalmist is inspired by God. David is inspired by God to write about his great, 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 great grandson, Jesus, who would come as the real king as the real saviour, as the one who would make the real difference in this world. And David, he went through his own set of troubles and challenges. But, you know, Jesus fulfills this prophetic psalm through his life when he gives his life for us upon the cross. And I am so glad that what Jesus did for us. I am so glad that he was willing to give of everything that he had so that we could experience the life that God has for us today. And it's all because of what Jesus has done for us through his death and resurrection. And I pray that each one of us would know that life that Jesus has won for us today in our lives. God bless you and have a great day today.